Well, hello there. Looking for some Blood Oaths Dark Age Irish, are we? Well, you came to the right place. Although you really might want to rethink your life, because, you know, it's a bit weird playing with toy soldiers and stuff, isn't it? Says you. Says me. Yeah, I've got no life, though. Yeah. That's the point. Uh, and the last year has pretty much um, made sure that I definitely don't have a life. It's, it's pathetic. I just sit playing with toy soldiers all the time on my own. Which is even sadder, isn't it? Um, if you hear any loud bangs, um, it will be our neighbours' kids kicking balls, occasionally hitting our roof. So, don't worry about it. Right, so, um, we have uh, Blood Oaths, Dark Age Irish. Uh, after Rome falls, who will conquer? Well, it weren't going to be the Irish, was it? No. I mean, for a start, the, the Romans probably weren't even aware of the Irish. Um, I suppose the Irish did raid Wales a bit as pirates, didn't they? And I'm sure the Romans dealt with that problem quite easily because the Irish used to sail around in little carracks and the Romans had galleys with oars and stuff. So, I, 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 yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, Irish, Dark Age Irish. We've got quite a few Dark Age things, haven't we? So, branching out into Dark Age Irish seems to be an interesting premise for us. Um, so, yes, on the back it says Nonosferum ad et omis. I can't speak foreign, so I'm assuming it's saying something about Irish people um, and stuff. Maybe it's what, Irish. Why have we got an English box? Why have we got an Irish box? <laughs> it looks vaguely Italian or Spanish, in my opinion, but um, I'm, 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 a, I'm a filthy, dirty English person. I can't read foreign. Um, but let's have a look. So, this is what you get in the box. I think everything's identical, isn't it? Is it yeah, that's it. Yeah, pretty much everything's identical. So, you get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sprues, and these are the figures. Uh, so, let's start with the doggies. Look, doggies. These are Irish wolfhounds, I should guess. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we've already got an Irish wolfhound for our um, game. Ricky. Which is, uh, it's an Irish wolfhound painted red. They now have loads. Yes. Um, yeah, so it's an Irish wolfhound painted red for the um, um, 13th Warrior game we do. Um, because it was a perfectly normal Irish wolfhound, but the director said, well, everything's really grey, so we want it to be painted bright red so we can see the dog. Otherwise, you wouldn't notice it. How did they go on in black and white days? Hmm. I mean, did they, did they whitewash dogs and cows and stuff so they stood out more so whenever you see a film with a farm in it the pigs are all painted white is that it no i don't think they can <laughs> just i think we're just happy to see that you can do a thing called video yes or video as my grandpa called it um because he was deaf never heard the word video so we couldn't get him to pronounce it properly um anyway so these are the irish and Really, these are pretty interesting figures. Um, the clothing is... You can actually use these figures for quite a few different things, um, if you look at the clothing. It is sort of traditional Irish-era clothing, which is pretty much sackcloth at that point. The odd fur, if they can get it. I don't think they had bears there anymore, but... Um, yeah, so the clothing could actually pass for quite a few different things, if you look. You've got a nice little jacket there the guy's wearing that could easily be used as a zombie survival figure seriously it looks, it looks like a may west doesn't it in your imagination i know because i just can't help converting things i just see something and i instantly turn it into something different um so i, I can't convert the dogs obviously oh well, perhaps you could get one of the dogs and put it on the head of a german stop it stop why there's taller people what's on the sprue Right, all right, we've got some blokes there. He's got a skirt and a jacket at the same time, which seems a bit redundant. Um, and we've got a bare chested chap, which is all very nice. He could pass as a Scot. Um, so by this time, um, the English had stopped running around naked painting themselves blue, and the Romans had taught us to wear trousers and like shirts and stuff, didn't they? Hadn't they? Yeah, so um. So the Irish were probably a little bit more advanced than us at the time. Um, yeah, so we've got nice little... It's not... What's that, what's that called? What? The the coat that comes down to your knees. It's a surcoat, is it? A coat. 
it's not a coat because it's not actually worn over something. You wear a cloak over it. So circle, circle. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't live in dark age time, did I? Anyway, that's the guys deal with it. Right. So we have some javelins with a little shield, and some nice little, some nice large shields. They're slightly bigger than the average Viking They're shield. Huge. Yeah, quite big. Um, full body shield, really. And you've got this here. In fact, that's about the same size as a Greek shield. Jesus. Although it won't stop the things that a Greek shield would stop. <laughs> I mean, it's just made out of hide, after all. So, a Roman peeler would have gone through it. But luckily, the Romans had gone by this stage. Uh, so you had to deal with the Welsh and the Saxons and then the Vikings. Uh, the Vikings pretty much conquered Northern Ireland, didn't they? Because Northern Ireland was a Viking settlement. Give or take. Yeah. Uh, hence... Thousand years later, still, you know, there's, there's still a divide between the different groups. Um, so we've got some nice target shields at the bottom, sort of short, close combat shields, and a very nice slingshot there. And then we go with the traditional Irish weaponry, which is a stick with nails in it. You can't go wrong with a stick with nails in. Of course, by this time we were using solid iron maces and stuff like that, but you know, yeah. beggars can't be choosers. Then we've got axes, and is that guy throwing a rock? <laughs> he's throwing a rock. Well, that's advanced for you, isn't it? And he's got a knocker, which is a Zulu era weapon. It's a stick with a piece of rock tied to the end of it. Were these guys a threat? No. No. They, they do, the Anglo Saxons are pretty much. Um, <laughs> They're a pretty good army um, to deal with. The Vikings knew what they were doing. I can't imagine the Irish found it very hard to put up with us, really. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, interesting figures. Anyway, I like them. And, yeah, they're good. Yeah, I like the cloak. Um, everything seems to have cloaks these days. Have you noticed that? Yeah. There are so many boxes where you get cloaks in them. That's yeah, original. Original. And you get complaining like about 10 years ago when I was a kid. No one has cloaks. You're like, I need cloaks, none of cloaks. Yeah, so no. I, used to, I used to make cloaks out of sort of plastic, melted plastic to make cloaks. And now there's so many cloaks, our bits box is full of cloaks. <sighs> yeah, that's Teutons for you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's not just Teutons. There's, there's, there's so many things that have cloaks now. The dark, uh, the um, Germans. Yep, they have their there's loads of cloaks. Romans, yes. The Romans have, the their Romans have as cloaks well. as well. <laughs> just everything has a cloak. Right, so what else do we have? It looks like this entire spoon to me. I think we pretty much covered everything. Um, the spears are spears. That's rather short for spears. Spears are spears. They're not very good spears. They're throwing spears, aren't they? They're spears. They're not, no, they're not long enough to be a spear. They're like a javelin, then. A spear looking at minimum six foot for so a spear. So it's a javelin. So it's, it's, it's like a javelin or a throwing spear, which is a hunting weapon. And you can't really use it. It's not long enough. It's, um, yeah, but other than that, let's have a look here. See, I am, I am a barbarian myself because I know absolutely nothing about Dark Age Ireland other than it was where the barbarians lived, and that was about it, really. So nothing's changed, really. Um, what have we got up here? Uh, we've got some awesome heads. They're knocking themselves out with these heads, aren't they? Oh, that's an excellent one. That is awesome. That is a goat's head skull thing, isn't it? That is brilliant. That is getting stuck on a Roman soldier to make it into some sort of demon. That is, that's, that's, that's so cool. What did I say about you? Tell you everyone what you're going to do with, your, with this brew when you're not actually going to be making Dark Age Irish out of them. But, well, no, we are going to be making Dark Age Irish out of them. It's just some of them I'm going to be using for something Me, else. I'm going to make it. You're going to be making the Dark Age Irish out of them. My spare spot vanishes. Yes. <laughs> I like your bit spot. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> um, I don't steal all your bit box stuff. No, but I, I'm still missing one of the boxes. Don't know where that is. What box? I think it might be the American cavalry, the American cannon. American Civil War cannon. Yeah. yeah someone might have used your yeah. <laughs> your spare bits from your. Right, yes. I see, yes. 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 Yeah. I made a. Uh, yeah. I, I might have used the arms uh -huh, on yeah. one of my projects. Sorry. So you didn't need them, did you? Nope. Right. Yeah, all right then. What are you complaining about? Until the future, it turns out I needed them. <laughs> yeah, well, if next time you bang out some cannon and realise you're missing something, just let me know and I will won't be able to find them because I've already <laughs> yeah. used them on something else. Um, I, actually, I know what I've used them on. I've used them on um, 
Well, the roses. Isn't that good? So, the, the, is that it? Uh, the that heads. It? The heads are cool. I like the heads. Um, sh should I actually mention something about these guys? I've only just come across them. Um, the War Games Atlantic. Um, I know very little about them, but looking through their collection of stuff, I'm actually really impressed with the sort of range they've got. They've got these Dark Age Irish. As soon as I saw the Irish, I said, well, I'm buying them. Because the Dark Age, um, I always buy Dark Age stuff. Always. I love Dark Age. Um, so I picked this up. I, we also picked up a, another box, which is this one, which has just blew my mind. I've never seen anything like this, so I just had to buy it. They also do Hobbits as well. See the Hobbit on the front? They do Hobbits, actual Hobbits in a box. So I didn't pick Hobbits up, by the way, because we're not doing Hobbits. We're not doing Spiders either, but... I just had cool. to get the I just had to get the spiders. Even though I have ratophobia. Yeah, but all the thing is, we saw these. We, we had a look at their range, and we were really impressed. But this one we just had to get because it's dark age. So it, this was a no-brainer as soon as we saw this. Um, but we have the entire dark age collection at this point. We do. We have, we have everything you could possibly buy for dark age. The cavalry, everything, every, everything. Um, but I think there might be some vitrix stuff we we could. No. I think there's, no, the, I think no, there's, no, I there's don't, a couple don't of things of Vitrix. No, there's a couple of things of Vitrix. Which, no, no, well, uh, no. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's this. Um, and and the Wargames Atlantic, we'd have looking through a lot of this, their stuff, um, and they do Hobbits, which I said, and I thought that that I'm not we're not play with Hobbits, but it would be interesting just to paint some up, just just for giggles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, so we're still looking through all their stuff. Um, so at the moment we're concentrating on Dark Age because we need to get rid of all the dark, not get rid of, we need to get the Dark Age stuff finished because we're supposed to be doing Romans. And we haven't quite got round to doing Romans yet because we're so busy with the Dark Age stuff. So anyway, that's enough of my blather. Um, they're excellent figures, looking at them. Um, I'm sorry, but what we do sometimes, I might actually get a sprue, paint them up, so I can show you what they look like painted, but we've only just got it, so yeah. I don't have time to do anything, and I'm busy with all the other stuff we're doing. Um, uh, King Richard needs his soldiers, so uh -huh, yeah. I'm afraid King Richard comes first. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the Dark Age Irish. That's everything from me. And everything from him, and you missed something. Did I? Yeah, if you just, just look underneath the oh, video, right that. Uh, there's a link to our website and our eBay page. And if you want to support us in any way, um, just pop along to eBay and you might find something like this listed. Because... We'll put some figures on. If you're interested in Dark Age, if you know Dark Age, yeah, we've got loads of Dark Age <laughs> stuff on there. Um, because as we do it up for ourselves, we put pictures on. And if you want them, we'll sell you ours and get some new ones in, or, or build yours however you want. So just just let us know. Just scroll along and, and have a look, see what you think. That's it. That's it from me. And everything from him. Goodbye. Bye.